who you are and uh, how many years you've been doing the Wheat Tour. All right, I'm Dave Green. I'm Executive uh, Vice President of the Wheat Quality Council. I've actually been on this tour now 38 years in a row, so it's, I've been I'm the old timer, I think, of the group. Um, this year we had uh, 90 some, 95 people participate in the actual field observations of the of this this year's crop. Uh, we we uh, had 24 cars driving. We covered most of Kansas, parts of southern Nebraska, parts of Colorado, and parts of the northern Oklahoma. So we, we did a lot of coverage. We use the same routes every year, so we're using uh, the same kind of a yield formula, so we're able to compare year over year how routes are and how the wheat crop is changing. This year, our, our numbers are lower than last year. We're coming off a couple pretty big crops in Kansas, and our numbers are, in fact, lower than, uh, than, than in past years. Uh, the big concern out of this crop is not diseases, it's not insects, it's not really freeze damage. It's the fact that the crop is late in relationship to where normal is, and also it's been very dry, and so there's not a lot of moisture available for growth. Uh, we have, you know, 60 to 90 days of that the, that the plant needs to grow and we typically harvest in the early July so it's going to be we're going to run out of time so there's a feeling even though we average 37 bushels an acre the average guess of our group at 243 million is a is a is a, is a recognition that the crowd feels that that's a little high the great summary, Dave. Uh, where did you see good wheat, and where did you see bad wheat? You know, there's some there's some spots, uh, particularly in north central Kansas and some central Kansas, where we had big stands, still big numbers. Again, this there is always everywhere we've been. There's a concern about lateness that that the crop meat is late, but we do have looks like areas where they've gotten more rain. That crop has shown up better. There are areas in the southwest that got into snow. Uh, that 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 looks materially different from the areas that didn't receive snow. So I think certainly the eastern half of the south central region, uh, an area north and east of Salina in particular looks better than average. How does the industry use this information um, as the, the milling and baking well, industry? It, it's, it's one of those that we've worked very hard over the, the, the years that I've been in the group to maintain some credibility. So, so, so we're doing enough sampling, enough, use, using enough statistics, enough, enough good, good work that our guesses tend to be closer to the government numbers. And so maybe not the final government number, but certainly the number that comes out first. So there is a lot of interest in the trade with what we say because we have a history of being pretty close to the government estimates. Very good. Thank you, Dave.